Good morning. Good morning. How you all doing? <coughs> yeah, good night's sleep last night. Apparently the um Yeah, you didn't, did you? <laughs> Honestly, men live on a different planet, I swear. Apparently, the uh owner the, of the apartment decided to do the washing up at half past two this morning. Um I decided to sleep through it. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I had a really good night's sleep last night. <laughs> so yeah, we're off into crack out again now. This one's birthday today. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to go to the salt mine. Yes. Really looking forward to that. So We've got a tram and a bus. Yeah, so we're going to walk back in and then go in. And more layers today because we were cold yesterday. Yeah, more socks, more t-shirts. Um, although we're less tired today and have eaten, so hopefully that will help. But yeah, yeah we're going to wander into town, back along the river. Um, nice seat in the daylight and then yeah. find the tram and head on Yeah. So we had a bit of a dusting of snow last night as yeah, well, which is snowed. nice. Yeah, a little bit of white stuff on the ground, which is nice. So, yeah, we'll catch up in Krakow. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we're on the way to this rain station to get a tram, and we picked up this. It's called an Obwarzenek. Very sorry if I'm totally <laughs> butchered that. Butchered that. <laughs> um, they've been making it since the 14th century, apparently. It's traditional, well, traditional Krakow breakfast. And it's basically a bagel, um, but they part boil the dough before they cook it, so you get this crispy outside and a soft inside. So uh, they are vegan if you have the sesame or the salt ones. Um, not the cheese ones, not obviously. The cheese ones or the ones with other sorts of toppings on. <laughs> they have lots of toppings on, including some strange ones. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're good to go. Oh, sorry about the van. Oh, taste test. Mm. Is that good? Yeah. Looks good. You didn't pull a horrible face, anyway. No, oh, so. What's it taste like? It's a bit of sesame sourdough. Oh, okay. Mm. It's cold, obviously. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, okay, it's nice. and we that? bought one a spare just in case he starves to death later. It happens a lot. <laughs> mm. So yeah, we're going to chew this as we walk. Okay. And we just came across this, which we're assuming is the old entrance to the city. We're not 100% sure, are we? No. It's a huge, huge wall, look. And then here, there's like a extra piece. And it says defense route. This is the Barbican. Yeah. And then we've got the city defence walls, according to that map over there, which is this bit, with a little gap in, where there probably would have been men with boiling hot tar and arrows. Mm. It's lovely that, to see the old and the new, because right behind, I don't know if you can see, there are a load of houses. So it's, it's gorgeous to see the old and the new mixing together beautifully. Some massive, impressive buildings. Hello, still cold. <laughs> a bit warmer now, we've had a march through Krakow. <laughs> yeah, um, a little bit interesting trying to get to the salt mine. Prob we thought you could take a tram, yeah, but you, you can't. You can't, so we went to the tourist information, she told us which bus to get, um, but we'd, we had a bit of a struggle to find the bus stop to be honest. So, for anyone else that's coming, if you um, if you find the big shopping centre. The Galleria Krakowski. Yeah, it's massive, opposite train station, and then head for the other end opposite the train station, and there's a brick tower of a clock in it, and opposite that tower is a little road with the bus stop. And you want the 304. For the number 304. Yeah. And it goes to the salt mine. And yeah. you need to get off at stop 15. Yeah. And then it's like a two meet, uh, 20 metre walk or something. I'm assuming it's going to be fairly obvious when we get there, but. Um, yeah, this bus stop is not so obvious, so yeah. Op and this is the only bus that takes you to the mine? Yeah, directly opposite the brick tower with the clock on the shopping centre. Um, they go regularly, every 10 minutes. Yeah, so hopefully that'll help some of you. But yeah, just find the train station, the gallery's opposite, walk to the other end of the gallery, and yeah, it's opposite the clock tower. And hopefully you'll... Um, oh, and there's the bus. <laughs> okay. So we'll catch you in the mine. Yeah, see you in a bit. Bye. Oh, we just got off the bus. It's only a two minute walk from there up to the salt mine. So yeah, really looking forward to this today. Yeah. Really looking forward <laughs> to this. 
Yeah. Okay. We just, so yeah, here we are, entrance to the salt mine. Oh, big steps. <laughs> Yeah, that'll be us. We're now in the main chapel. It's absolutely stunning. It's really hard to tell that this was dug out by hand. I mean, the detail in the walls, this is all just dug into the salt. Chandeliers, just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You would never believe you're in a salt mine underground. So this is the last chamber on the tour. It is the tallest chamber in the building. And this one was blasted with explosives. This one wasn't on my hand. Also, this is where the longest balloon flight underground happened and the longest 
bungee, the highest bungee jump? No, the, the deepest, deepest bungee and jump. The deepest balloon flight. And the deepest balloon flight, sorry. Yeah. Happened here. Which is just incredible. And we're 130 meters 130, underground yeah. and they flew a hot air balloon. <laughs> it's amazing. Just massive long corridors dropping down under the earth. It's all a bit eerie, really. Like in England, they would like dawdle along here, they speed around like nobody's business. 